Hey, what is up guys? My name is Nate and welcome back to another Advanced Warfare commentary. So, um, this commentary is going to be pretty short and it's just because I want to talk about um, cheating in Advanced Warfare. So, the gameplay that I actually picked for this, um, for this commentary is a gameplay that I got a couple days ago. Well, I didn't really get it. I did absolutely terrible. But there's a cheater in here that actually gets the DNA bomb. He goes like... He goes like 47 and 0 and one death and then leaves the game for some reason. So I wanted to use this gameplay as an example of um, people cheating and an example of the DNA bomb, what it does. So as you can see, he goes on a 30 kill streak right there and I think he calls the bomb in in a little bit. Yeah, he calls it in right here and you can just hear it timing down. I had no idea what was going on. And then uh, finally it goes off and you just, the screen goes completely white. And I think the whole enemy team left, but it does kill all of the enemy team and then uh, the whole map goes green for a little bit, but then it goes away um, pretty early on. It doesn't stay for the entire match. But um, what I really wanted to talk about really quickly is the two main problems I've been having with Advanced Warfare. So um, the first one being what you just saw, um, cheaters. I have actually met more cheaters in game on Advanced Warfare in the two first days it's been out than the two years I've been playing Black Ops 2 on console and on PC. I join games with cheaters, blatant cheaters, all the time in this game, and it's so, so annoying. I mean, for some reason, it just seems it's a lot easier to cheat in this game than it was in, like, any other Call of Duty before this. And the second big problem I've been having is connection. So for some reason, the connection in this game is just absolutely terrible. Gunfights in this game at the moment are completely random on PC. Like, they're so random. I can come up behind a person and shoot them five times in the back, and then they'll turn around, drop shot me, and two shot me in the foot. Like, not even joking, I have video of that happening to me. It's ridiculous. And either I'm only connecting to servers in freaking Australia, or the ping bars are completely messed up. This is making it, like, almost impossible to get on good streaks, because seriously, gunfights are just completely inconsistent and in this game since the connection is so jacked up it's pretty much impossible to win a 1v2 gunfight the amount of double kills i have in this game compared to any other call of duty is like pathetic i mean i seriously get them never and i knew once i saw all the jetpacking around and stuff that i knew it was going to be a lot harder to get on good streaks but i wasn't expecting there to be crazy connection problems and then crazy amounts of cheaters that pretty much just kill me off of every streak but anyways guys, I'm done ranting about the game, um, it's still a lot of fun, it's just really annoying not getting gameplays that I want to get for this channel just because the connection gunfights are just completely random to be honest. I'm really really working hard on getting the DNA bomb, it's just, it's so difficult to get on any streak with consistency. I saw a Twitter post that Ali A made saying that one game he can go 17 and 7 and then the next game he's going 7 and 17. He's talking about how inconsistent the game is, and I'm totally on the same page as him. The game is super, super inconsistent. Um, but yeah, there's there hasn't been any patches yet, so I'm hoping once they do bring out a patch that it'll fix a lot of that stuff, and the game will be a lot better. But anyways, guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of the day, and I'll see you in other videos. Adios.